Get out the face paint and balloons, because we've got five crazy, cool, epic, awesome, funny, weird, wild, unexpected, true facts about clowns. Number five. Did you know there's actually four different types of clowns? August clowns, character clowns, the tramp or hobo, and whiteface clowns. August clowns, which is German slang for idiot, are the least intelligent and craziest of all clowns. They usually have an unpainted face with exaggerated features. Their costume is generally bright, colorful, mismatched, and oversized. Character clowns depict a specific occupation or job. The most famous example is a rodeo clown who helps keep the cowboys safe. Their makeup can be similar to any other type of clown as long as it complements the character the clown is playing. The tramp, or hobo, is the lowest on the clown totem pole. Mm, poor guy. Makeup usually includes facial hair with white around the eyes and mouth, and the costume usually includes a patched and tattered suit as well as an old hat. And finally, the white face clown. They're known for having, well, the white faces and exaggerated features that are painted red or black. They're also the only clown allowed to use sequins, rhinestones, or other flashy material to bedazzle their outfit. They have good manners and are the most intelligent, usually serving as the ringleader for a group of clowns. So yeah, there is more to clowning than just painting your face and wearing an oversized bow tie. Not much more, but still, there's rules. And speaking of that, number four, the Clown Commandments. Sure, being a clown doesn't require the same moral code that being a doctor does, but it hasn't stopped the clown community from coming up with their own set of standards that every self-respecting clown should live up to. While the eight Clown Commandments are surprisingly detailed, the main points revolve around professionalism and making sure they're only trying to make people happy. A noble goal, especially considering how creepy some clowns can be. The commandments are things like always staying in character while wearing the makeup, changing out of the costume as soon as possible once the performance ends, appearing in as many clown shows as you can, and most importantly, creating an atmosphere of fun for the audience. So it turns out being a clown isn't just fun, it's serious fun. Number three, sometimes clowns come from places or cultures we'd never expect. Take Native Americans, for instance. Some tribes had members called Hayokas, which translates to clown or opposite. These Native American clowns had to communicate using only opposites. So for instance, if they were having a bad day, they might say, boy, today's a great day. Sounds tedious, but it didn't end there. They would wear clothes backwards, bathe in the dirt, and sometimes even try to dry themselves with water. Weird. Why would anyone want to be a Hayoka clown? Well, for starters, they got to carry a lance that was supposed to erase all their fears and make them impervious to lightning. So if you were a scaredy cat during storms, you might be able to conquer your phobia by becoming a Hayoka. <laughs> well, I guess that's a better plan than hiding in the bathtub like my dog. Number two, clown college. Sure, people say that sometimes to make fun of a poorly performing university, but it's actually a real thing. Aspiring clowns can go to these schools and learn all of the fine arts that go into being a world-class buffoon. They'll teach you how to juggle, how to put on goofy makeup in just the right way, and how to do all the small things that separate your run-of-the-mill clowns from a truly great one. A good clown will likely spend years perfecting their art, looking for auditions, and making a name for themselves. So before you think you can just run off and join the circus, remember, clowning ain't what it used to be. You gotta go to school, study up, and maybe, just maybe, you'll have a shot at getting your own pair of hilariously oversized shoes. And finally, our number one fact, the clown car. Maybe the most recognizable part of a clown's routine is when a tiny car rolls up and an impossible number of clowns come pouring out one by one. While it definitely seems like an illusion, it's not. They really all fit in there. First, they hollow out a car as much as possible until there's absolutely nothing left that isn't necessary to keep the car functioning. Then there's plenty of not-so-fun math involved. They come up with complicated equations to help the clowns figure out exactly the right way to position themselves in order to fit ridiculous amounts of people into one car. So who knows? There's at least a small percentage that your math feature is a secret weekend clown. Shh. Well, there you have it. Those are our five totally goofy, totally true facts about clowns. So now that you've learned more about clowns, what do you think? Are they scary? Or fun? Or silly? Or awesome? Leave a comment below and let us know. And then make sure you check out 5 Facts About Cake if you want to keep the party going. And don't forget to subscribe to DreamWorks TV for new videos every day. I'm your host, and now it's time for me to put my clown nose on. You gotta go!